name is Bob Davis, and uh, I'm one of the pilots on this beautiful B-17 you see back over my right shoulder. I'm with the Experimental Aircraft Association, the foundation actually, which owns the airplane. And I'm from Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, so a long way from home. We're at the Napa County Airport uh, today. I believe this is May 6th, and we'll be here through the weekend. And uh, we'd love to have people come out and go through the airplane or go for a ride with us. This particular airplane was built in 1945, in May of 45, which, if you know your World War II history, uh, was right at the end of World War II. So it never saw combat. Well, you know, it really is a historical artifact. It's, uh, there's only 10 flying in the entire world, and it's representative of uh, the World War II generation. I'm John Gilchrist. Stuart Williams. I was a pilot of a B-17 Flying Fortress. I was a tail gunner on a Liberator, B-24. Both of us were in the 8th Air Force, based in England, bombing Germany. On those bombing runs, we were at a high altitude at above 25,000 feet, up to 30,000 feet. And it was very cold up there, like 60 or 50, 60, 70 degrees below zero. So you couldn't use relief tubes, so we just used a uh, ammunition can, 50 caliber ammunition can. And then we'd toss it out on the way home. That would be the second bomb run. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to get stuck on that relief tube. 